And hello back guys, welcome back to Gagan to here. Today I brought back this book. And let's see which story are we going to read today. Hmm. Where are we not this? And I'm not going to read it again. Oh. Okay. Anyway. So it might need to take a little bit of hard work to find this. Nope. Nope. Hmm. How about the mouse and the dragon? Hmm. The mouse and the dragon, huh? Let's go. Once upon a time, a wild meadow. There was a little field mouse who wanted to be noticed. I'm so small that no one ever seems to pay me any attention, he said. But still, you're very cute. Hmm. Uh, one day, a field, uh, when the field mouse was dozing upside with his little nest, he saw a big dragonfly. It flapped its wings and buzzed around and round and the sleepy ma around the sleepy mouse. Shoo! cried the field mouse. He picked up a blade of grass and waved it at the dragonfly, which flew off immediately. The mouse was very pleased with himself. He decided to tell all his friends how brave he was. He wanted to find his friend, a vole. I am the bravest mouse that ever lived. Ah, for I defeat a dragonfly with only a blade of grass. The vole was a little hard of hearing. What's that? he mumbled. You defeated a dragon? Hmm. But the field mouse has already scampered off. So the vole went and told his friend the shrew, the shrew. Did you hear what happened? The field mouse defeat a dragon with a blade of grass. As it happened, the shrew also rather deaf. She went and told her friend the hedgehog. You must hear the latest news, she said. The field mouth defeated a dragon with a mighty blade. Which, no, 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 no. It's just a blade of grass, man, not a mighty blade. So the hedgehog went to visit the field mouse. What an amazing mouth you, mouse you are, she said. To defeat a dragon with a mighty sword is a very brave thing to do indeed. The field mouse was so happy to be noticed, he didn't tell that the hedgehog what had really happened. Oh, hedgehog, what you heard is clearly isn't correct. And so, the field mouse, why aren't you be honest? Hmm. Instead, he just nodded his head and agreed. Yes. I'm rather brave, aren't I? He said. Soon, all the animals believed that the field mouse had defeated a dragon. Everywhere the field mouse went, he was treated like a hero. He was giving all kinds of presents, and everyone invited him round to dinner until his tummy was filled to birthday. The news of a field mouse adventure spread far wide, over the hedges and fields, through the forest, all the way to faraway mountains where a real dragon lived. The dragon was amazed at the story of a field mouse. He decided to fly down from the mountain and see what all fuss was about. So he spread his great wings and flew all the way to the meadow where the little field mouse lived. The vole, the shrew, and the hedgehog 
and saw the huge dragon laying in the middle of a meadow. Come quick! They all shout to the field mouse. There's a dragon in the meadow. You must defeat him. The field mouse climbed to the top of a bush and had a look. When he saw the dragon, the field mouse almost dropped off the bush in fright. I'll stay very quiet, he thought, and perhaps the dragon will go away. The dragon examined his sharp claws and called out, Excuse me, I have heard was that a mighty dragon slayer lives here. I have come to fight him, and if I win, this meadow will be mine. A young rabbit spot the field mouse on the bush. Look over here, Mr. Dragon, um, the call rabbit called out. There's the dragon slayer. The rabbit pointed to the field mouse, who was pretending to be invisible. When the dragon saw the field mouse, he started to laugh. When the dragon laughed, he blows flame everywhere. Several trees nearly caught on fire, and the field mouse coughed from all the smoke. <clears throat> when the dragon finally Finally finished laughing, he wiped his eyes. I'm terribly sorry, he boomed. I've never seen such a small dragon slayer in all my 500 years. Bracer Mouse, come out and fight me, and we will see which one of us is the strongest. The field mouse fought quickly. Instead of a fight, he said, and his squeakly little voice. Let's have a competition. In a field across the way lives a farmer and his wife. Whoever can make them come outside will be the winner. The dragon thought this sound like a very easy task. I shall go first. Hmm. He said and he stopped across the farmhouse to look in the window. The dragon roared and stamped his feet. He flapped his wings and blew huge jets of flame into the air. However, instead of running out of the house, the farmer and his wife ran, ran upstairs and hid under the bed. No matter how much noise and flames, flame or the dragon made, the farmer and his wife couldn't come out of the house. They were too afraid of being eaten. Finally, the dragon gave up. He stomped back to the meadow in a very bad mood. Your turn, little mouse, he roared grumpily. The field mouse camper scampered across the fields to the farmhouse and crawled under the gap in the front door. He ran all the way up to the bedroom, scurried under the bed and squeaked at the farmer and his wife. The farmer's wife looked horrified. It's a mouse! She screamed and ran downstairs with a field mouse scurrying after her. She was so scared the poor woman opened his front door and ran outside, still screaming. Come back! yelled the farmer. There's a dragon outside! But his wife kept on running, so the farmer ran after her to make sure she didn't get eaten by the dragon. The field mouse returned to the hedge. I'm amazed, said the dragon. You really must be a mighty warrior. I'm glad I didn't fight you. With that, the dragon said goodbye and flew back up to the mountains. He never to return. Now the field mouse really was a hero. The vole was true and the hedgehog held a special party for him. And this time, he really deserve it. Really? Cool. Okay, so next time we'll just do another story. Okay? So let me please let me check again. Have you like and subscribe? It's just a little small test. Just 
have you subscribe and like for me please i'm begging you just uh, like and subscribe for my channel bye bye